everyone, and welcome to another Getting Started with Canvas screencast. If you're an instructor who has more than one section of a course, you can cross-list or combine these sections and then maintain your course content in a single course shell. This combined course contains all of your student rosters for each section. In your combined course, you'll share one set of course content and course documents with all sections and you'll be able to view, message, and work with all of your students as one large group or with your students by section. You'll also be able to create assignments with different due dates by section or create different assignments for each section. Here's what you need to do to get ready to combine your sections. First, select one course to be the parent course. Often, this is the 001 section. Once you've selected the parent, look at all other sections as child sections that you'll combine with the parent. Second, make sure that all of the course content is in the parent section. Once you combine sections, you'll lose all of the information that is in any of the child sections, except for the student roster. The best approach is to combine your sections as soon as possible so that you can focus on developing course content in only one section, the parent section. For the same reason, it's also really important to remember that you must cross-list sections before your class begins so that you don't lose any student information when you combine sections. Once you combine all of your sections into the parent course, we recommend that you create a home page that includes all of the section numbers and course IDs so that students who registered for the child sections will know that they're in the right place. Remember, when your courses are combined, all of the information in the child courses is lost, including the course name and ID. Now that you've identified your parent course and you're sure that there is no content that you want to retain in any of the child sections, you're ready to cross-list. To do this, open a child course that you want to combine with the parent. In the child course, go to Settings, and then to Sections, and on the Sections tab, you'll see the name of the course you're currently in. The name is an active link. Click on this name. When you do, you'll see this course section's student roster. At the top right of the page, select Cross-List This Section. You'll get a dialog box that asks you to search for or enter the name or the course ID for the parent course. Be careful here to select the right course. You don't want to select a course that has the same name, but that's from a different term. Once you've confirmed that you've selected the parent course, Click on Cross-List This Section. You've now combined the child course with the parent course you identified, and you'll notice that you're now in the parent course. To verify, be sure that you are now in the parent course. And then go to Settings, and then to Sections, on the Sections tab, you should now see both the Parent Course and the Child section that you just cross-listed. If this is what you see, then you've successfully cross-listed or combined the Child Course with the Parent Course. You can further verify that you now have two sections, the Parent and the Child, in this one course by looking at the different sections in the Gradebook. Let's check out the Gradebook. In the gradebook, you now have a button called Showing All Sections. When you click here and make a selection, you'll see that you can view all of your students at once, or you can view your students by section. As I said earlier, you can also now set different assignment due dates or even create different assignments for each of your sections. This is called Differentiated Assignments in Canvas. Let me show you. Navigate back to the parent course, and then to Assignments, 
Open any assignment and select Edit. At the bottom of the assignment settings, you can set the due dates. Now that you have multiple sections, you can set a due date for everyone by default, or you can set multiple due dates by section. Click in the Assign To box. For now, I want to demonstrate two different due dates. I'll select the Parent section and delete everyone. And then I'll add the due date for the Parent section. Let's say that the second section of the course meets the following day, and so I want to set the due date for them to be the next day. I'll click on plus add to add a new date. Under assign to, I'll select the child section. Then I'll set the due date for that section to the next day. If you have additional sections, you may get a warning at this point. Just make sure that you have assigned as many due dates as you require and then continue. Now you'll see under the assignment due dates that you have multiple due dates for your multiple sections. In this example, you apply different due dates to the same assignment, but using a similar process, you can also assign different assignments to each section. Differentiated assignments work in Canvas for any assignment that has a due date. If you need additional information about how to crosslist or combine your Canvas sections, see the ACNS guide Crosslist Combined Sections in Canvas. And if you need additional information about working with differentiated assignments, see Canvas's guide on this topic in the Canvas Help Center.